afternoon ladies and gents um, video 12 I managed to just get my roof on it's only had one coat with the resin with the um, cloth from there all up and over but I've only got a single garage and to get to do any work in it I've got to really get it outside and sling that big roof around and prop it right up in the air to try it with bits and pieces it does it's all going to need another sand and another couple of coats yet but there's my roof back on I'm going to put the beads on the corners down here and here 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 and a door to make for the kitchen but here's the exciting bit voila so that goes up oh I'm not sure actually probably 1200 maybe four foot so I can just I just bend my head forward from this corner that stand on these boards here so that's not a big issue because this is going to be my cheese wedge shaped tent with three windows in it um, I was concerned about sideward motion sideward wind but these are the gas struts are 200 new, neutrons, newtons, which works out about 20 kilos, 40, 42 pound gas struts. I did what Patrick Remington said on his rooftop video, I measured halfway. So the length of my roof, that's halfway. And I couldn't put them on the bottom strut, at the bottom joist obviously because that comes down inside here so I had to go up and inside here to put them on and get some screws in there and then once I went from the center I just put them fu fully open wherever they went to and that, and that works fine um, they are 535 millimeters long 200 neutrons each one so 535 is a couple of feet uh, not quite not quite two feet so about 22 inches for the Americans about 22 inches and 40 pound each 40 pound 42 pound something like that 200 neutrons so I will have to have a little lever at the top, a um, bit of cord or something, to pull it down. So about there's my breaking point, so that's fairly easy for me to push, and up it goes. I took the bed platform out and give it a bit of a vacky. Need my mate here now to put the battery and the controller in that box there. Um, the black piece, the fitted piece on the left, that's three little panels I've, I've used up off cut, so that's going to stay fixed down. But the one on the left is already fixed, that's above the kitchen. And the two on the right are loose because I might have to, might have to get through there with an electric cord. I want, a, I want a cable to run along through, the, through that box, come up in that corner, come through that black a frame and then I'm probably going to mount a fan on this cross beam here fiberglass fiber cloth fillets just put fillets everywhere and it's amazing how strong it is and I was worried about sideward motion but that's shaking the whole trailer so I think we're going to be okay because them, them gas struts are unbelievable. We've got four hinges on the front. I've only got a screw in each at the moment. I've got a, because I am painting the front 
in a black armour all type stuff. And of course this space here is for the clothes, or the potty will sit in here, fan, and then maybe I'll put some hooks up or something so I can we can hang the laptop or I'm gonna have this bed base here that sits in here on a couple of gas struts as well. I've got some hundreds. I did like Patrick, I bought hundreds and I bought two hundreds, you know, like he bought two sizes. These weren't gonna lift it. I'll try these on first. Not quite enough power. So there we are. 100 neutrons, 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 whatever. Clips in the ends, so they're quite good. Safety clips, so they don't pop on, pop off. Fairly happy with that, really. Obviously got to do some sort of roof lining, bit of insulation, and some roof lining. And then, as I say, mount a fan on there. So I'll have a cable up under the, under the roof, running up the back of that, inside the ceiling. Um, I need to put a cable through, put some sort of outside light on here, over the top of the kitchen. Um, this is, I've got the folds wrong, I've cut it in the wrong place when I was doing the roof. I just cut up and aligned, what I should have done is cut down this angle and then fold it over. When I, when I, this is all one, one piece of glass, half of it. And same the other side, half and half. So I will be undoing these screws as well to paint this in a an armor all truck bed liner, black, and then put the black screws back on. I want this to stay natural. Plenty of room for my fridge slide. When I've built that, I'm going to paint. I'm going to build that out of ply and paint that in the armor all too. I've just been and bought some armor all. I'm gonna probably do it on the mud guards as well because I've spilt some resin and stuff on it, so I'll give them a sand. What I have just done is had a crack with the armor all on my face of my big slide that goes in there, my big drawer. So I've bought um, duplicolor bed armor. Never used it before. And I'll just give that front of that drawer a couple of coats. Um, I thought it was going to be thicker. Maybe a couple of, two or three coats, maybe four coats. Let it dry now. Because I thought it would lose the patches on the screw holes. I thought that would be that thick that it lost that. At the moment it hasn't. So maybe two or three coats build up and then, then I'll lose it. Maybe. I don't know. As I say, I've never used it. Um, I think the can, the can was 26 bucks. That's it there. I've got the fridge slide in here. I've spoke about that a few times. That's sitting on that that board, which will go on that A-frame. Um, no. Need two hands to do that, so that'll be bolted down on there on a couple of straight through on a couple of 40 mil steel tubes, which will be welded to the front A frame, and the box will be about 600 high, 600 wide. That's uh, 1050, something like that. I did my tapes in the truck, so yep. So that's coming along, but I was so pleased. I didn't have to do any working out, people, because Patrick's done it all for you on, on his rooftop video. Just measure that halfway. And uh, wherever they wherever they put it up at the height you want it, and then wherever wherever they reach to, see? That's, that's you governed by the height, because wherever they reach to fully extended is where you can put them in. They come from our local hardware in, in West Australia called Bunnings, massive place. I don't know if you can see them very well. Um, not quite all the way, but that's okay. 
it's not too much pressure on them. Pretty happy with that. Get the electrician in and start lining these lining these walls. Still got to find my fly screen door and build my back door. That's all good. I'm gonna make a bit of a start on the fridge next. Fridge box. So I think that's video 12. Tara for now.